guys happy Sunday we're just home from church um, my nurse just left the one specialist nurse just left so Dave started feeding Elio hi sweetheart it's me you gotta eat and not stare at me so much I love you <laughs> I'm gonna go away now so you can actually mm -hmm. eat um, you guys won't guess what he did to me today so at church I went out to feed him during the service and um, feeding him and he let out a big one in his diaper so I was like whatever no big deal and I'm burping him as we finished our feed before going inside and I was like huh his onesie he was wearing a white and yellow like duck onesie so I was like huh th this is a really big duck on the back like it was a big yellow spot I'm like that's a really big duck how come they made that duck so big and I was like oh that's not a duck that's poop stains so I was like I see we had an explosion so I lift him up to go back inside only to find that on my pants. Yeah, somehow he managed to poop through a diaper, a onesie, pants, and get on my pants as well. That's a, quite an accomplishment for him. He avoided his own pants. He did avoid his own pants. I don't know how he did that. I don't know how he avoided the blanket. How did you... Like, I know there's a little bit on the blanket, but it must not have been around. It him. must not have been, because I, I was using it to clean up his... um. Yeah, spills, so it might have just not been fully around him. Keep going. You're really addicted to mom today. Yeah, so go away. Okay. I'm heating up some lunch to eat. Um, some curry that we ordered a couple of days ago. Lady's leaving now. The nurse sat in our driveway for the last, like, 12 minutes. Not exactly sure why. Um, anyway. Probably. Probably. This is the struggle when you're desperately trying to wake yourself up, but you're not really committing too much. This is the struggle right here. <laughs> He's trying to wake up. Just can't really get it. <laughs> and there it is. Maybe. He might just still go back to sleep. He's not fully committed to that cry. Him and dad took a two hour nap. You're falling. <laughs> this is his wake up struggle. It's quite a process. <laughs> like, he started up here and <laughs> look at where he's found himself. If that leg flips over my arm, he's, he's done for. He's gonna wake oh, up. <laughs> oh, oh no! Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. <laughs> he's quite entertaining. The leg's holding. That foot's stuck on my wrist. Just keep it there and you'll be safe. <laughs> oh no! No! no. <laughs> Man down! <laughs> now you've done it. It's okay if you want to wake up, just wake up. But he will <laughs> squirm. And there we got an eye. We got an eye. And this will be followed by a cry. Hi, Elio. Grab on. We like to let him wake up naturally as opposed to waking him up. Eventually, he'll get a good hold of it. <laughs> He's so sweet. And it's food time. Oh, okay, baby boy. Okay, yeah. it's food time. Now he's awake. Hey, Lyle. All right. Dad's got him. Hey, Hi, sweetheart. Okay, Dad's leaving. You're okay. 
Okay. And that is how our son wakes up from sleep. It's quite entertaining, I must say. Um, but it's just, it's this thing, like, he'll just start slowly and slowly and work it up and work it up. And then he wakes up, and usually with a cry, because he wakes up because he's hungry. Um, but that's a big part of it. And then I'll show you guys his, like, feed and stretches when he's eating. He does these amazing stretches. We're wow. gonna try something new though. What are we trying? Eating out the medallion. Eating out the medallion, bottle. That's feet, getting crazy. One feed him out, right? So yeah. we learned that a lot of um, you guys should try this. But a lot of bottle covers are like bottle covers, like the you know that lids, lids the nipple Let's screw on lids. That. What? There is a cloth that I had. For. A lot of them are actually the same size and interchangeable. We've tried um. Dr. Brown's, like the lid that closes the Medela like breast pump bottles, actually fits on a Dr. Brown's bottle to actually shut it completely. And if you're traveling, it's great for that. Um, and then the nipple lid that we had from the little hospital bottles, they fit on the Medela bottle. It's just, just try it if you have. And to. Dr. Brown's. And the Dr. Brown's, yeah, they're all the same like thread and all of that. So just a little tip out there, if you have, this might already be, you know, widely known, but I'm a first time mother, so it's new to us. The, the nice thing is, it's not so much the nipple, it's just the uh, cap. We have some caps, for example, from the Medela bottle and caps from the, our hospital bottles, whereas the Dr. Brown's bottle only has the travel top, disc travel thing. disc yeah. that you put on top of it, and it's just like, that's fine it works but it's just like it's nicer to just be a little tap uh, cap kind of thing yeah i think that's the biggest benefit yep this is just a side benefit that we usually travel with our medela bottles because they're nice nice little size yeah and they and haven't then, and the like if you guys have a medela pump out there like it comes with the travel case that you can put the ice pack in and all of that so it's much easier to travel with just that mm -hmm. pack and then uh, so just feeding them out of it, it just uh because usually we'll dump into a different bottle to feed them. Mm -hmm. But it's like, okay, well, there's only one one serving left, so let's just feed them directly, save a bottle. Yeah. And so far, so good. <laughs> We've got a happy little boy. He's done eating, diaper changing. No cameras, no cameras please. please, Mom. Done eating, diapers changed, and he's just chilling right now. I'm not sure if he still wants more food. <laughs> yeah. Those hands are always going. Wanna hold mommy's finger? No, not today. Not right now. Okay. Where where are you going? There's no food there. <laughs> where are you going? Oh, look at those big pretty eyes. They're just so big, but so pretty. Hey, sweet pea. You're going down. You are going down. Want me to pick you up? Mommy's going to pick you up. Let me put my laptop down. You're down. Oh, no. <laughs> Face planted. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Come to mommy. Can you hold the camera, please? Where are you flying? <laughs> Where are you going? Are you trying to get your Superman on? You look so happy and content. I like it. Uh, you're still hungry, aren't you? Too many kisses. Mom's doing the most. Yeah, I usually am. Alright. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. What are you looking at? Eat your chin. Eat your cheeks. Chin. Nose. Forehead. Too many kisses. Too many kisses from Mama. Good morning, guys. Happy 
Tuesday from Squeaks and myself. Hey Squeaks! He just woke up and finished eating. I'm not sure if he wants some more or not, but I think he's good. We gotta change because someone's puked a little bit on their clothes. Mm hmm. <laughs> hey. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna take him over now and change him. Um. Have you guys seen our awesome changer? I'm absolutely in love with it. It's the peanut changer. And it is super awesome. Because. You don't need um, cloths or anything for it, which when your kid, you know, poops while you're changing their diaper or pees while you're changing their diaper, it's great to be able to just wipe it down and not have to do add to laundry. I really like that. And it's not like, and because it's made of, is it silicone? I'm not sure what exact material it's made of, but it doesn't get like too cold for their skin or anything like that. So it's super awesome. And while I'm talk, talk, telling you guys about that, I love these Q-tips. A friend got them for us part of like our little package and they're so great for just like swabbing like the tip of his nose when he gets burgers there really awesome but let's do our diaper change well that was quite the diaper change wasn't it you happy <laughs> so what did he do you guys asked start changing his diaper and i'm wiping him away he had some poop in there wiping it away and what does he decide to do it's time for round two and he starts going around too. So I was like, oops. You know, so I put some wipes underneath him. Again, this is why I said it's good to have that diaper changer. Put some wipes, because I usually I cover, actually, here's, here was the order of events. He, um, I finished wiping him, I was done. And as I, I usually put a wipe on his little pee pee so that he doesn't pee out. I have the, like, I have a um, TP tent or whatever. I have one of those, but it wasn't within reach, so I just put a wipe on him in that area and wiped his bum, bum and all that. So I was done everything and usually the last thing I do is take off the wipe on his little pee pee and then put the diaper on. Took the wipe off, he decides to pee. I was like, really? So, pee's all over. I covered it quickly so he only kind of got a little bit on himself. Covered it, let him finish and I was like, alright, you done? And then next thing I hear is the backside coming out too. I was like, for real kid? So it starts that one and I was like, okay, so I'm starting to wipe and I was like, oh, you're not done, okay. So he proceeded to continue. I was just like, really? So then I waited, waited, waited. He finished. Wait a little bit more, nothing. I was like, all right, wipe that off, put a diaper underneath him, and wanted to now wipe his little pee pee. And then he starts going again. I was just like, really? So thankfully, the new diaper was on at that point. So I was like, I'm just going to put this on completely, let you finish. I'll wipe you everywhere else, get you dressed, and then I'll take that off. So that was what we did took quite a process and then had to like you know sponge bath him really quickly because he peed on himself right don't look confused I'm talking about you he's all greasy and shiny because I put some coconut oil on his face because we had to wa wash and wipe his face because there was pee pee on it mm -hmm. my sweetness it's activity time. My sweet pea is wide awake. Say hi. Apparently not for long, <laughs> but he is wide awake right now. So I'm going to take advantage of that and we're going to do his fingerprint and his footprints. Well, handprints and footprints for his two baby books. He has two because one is very like you know, childish, and I think that'll be for him. And there's another one that's very, like, classic, and that'll be Mom's copy to keep. And I'll give him the other one for him to keep. Right, sweetheart? I love how he just looks up at me. And, well, now right into the camera. Look at you, just, like, camera ready. You got the crazy eyes going, though, but you're camera ready. I like that. <laughs> He's so sweet. Want to smile for the camera? <laughs> No, we're gonna pant instead. I know you want to smile. I see it there. He just finished projectile vomiting on me. It was quite, quite the scene. So I think now he's relaxed and might also be hungry now that he's vomited. I'm sorry, sweet pie. 
Okay, let's do your handprint. So we're going to use... Um, Mommy's going to support you. Uh, we're going to use the Clean Touch Ink Pad by Pearhead, which I bought off Amazon. I haven't even opened it, but we're going to use this and do its footprints and handprints. You open the package, it comes with this and this, and that's about it. So I assume, obviously, this is the ink pad. Which I am struggling to open. There we go. Oops, I don't think I'm supposed to just touch that. Um, I wish they like, you know, the instructions seem pretty simple, so let's try it out. You ready, sweetheart? I don't know how I'm going to do this while holding the camera. Let's take his footprints and see what his foot, <laughs> which is caught in the camera cord. Let's see what we can do. So I'm going to put you on the floor, and I'm going to take your cute little feet, your little baby feet. I have no idea how this is supposed to work. I feel like I'm going to have to hold it up to his foot myself. I got that completely wrong. Um, <laughs> that's what I ended up doing. Put his footprint on there. So I think what I'm supposed to do is put the pad onto paper and then press his foot on. So we're going to try this again. There we go. We got it. He moved his foot around there, so that's not perfect. But the right foot, or left foot, is quite perfect. Yay, Mom! <laughs> Now I know people told me that um, when I do this, it's good to do when he's asleep, but I wanted him to be awake and, you know, see what I'm doing and participate. So I'd rather do that than have him asleep. But we did the second book and the right foot was an epic fail again. He just likes to move that right foot. So there we have our two footprints and now we got to do our handprints. You ready? No face? Let's try this. I feel like the hand one I might actually have to end up waiting until he's asleep because... He doesn't often, his hands stay like that, um, so it might be hard to keep them straight. But we'll see what I can do. So I've given up on trying to do his hand prints because that's what we're getting. He doesn't want to keep his hands open, so we're either going to wait for dad's help on that one or wait till he's asleep. But yeah, that one's not happening while he's awake. I'm sorry, sweet pea, I'm sorry. Let me show you guys the two baby books. So this is the one that I said is, you know, kind of like childish, and then that's the more classic one. So he'll keep that one, and Mommy will keep this one. They were both gifts given to us, and I figured, why not have two? Since people gave us, since we received two, we'll use both. Yeah, right, sweetheart? Uh-oh. Is that coming back up again? I hope not. Decided to enjoy some time on our little play mat. And he's been staring quite intently at this guy here. It's been his favorite so far, I would say. He hasn't reached to grab any of them yet, but he's enjoying staring at them, which is a good place to start. Over here. Mom's probably shaking it a little too much. No, that's cool. That's cool. I'm gonna let you do this your way. Oh yeah, that's kind of what we're doing right now since we've given up on our handprint activity. The mister is home from work. We're having dinner before our little son wakes up. He's upstairs sleeping. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try to sneak in dinner because when he wakes up he's gonna be hungry too. Having some pasta and corn. Just keeping it basic. Today Dave's got a lot of work to do. And it's pretty usual. As usual. He worked pretty late last night. He worked till I think 3 a.m. Yep. And we're trying to avoid him having to work late today, so I'm gonna eat and let him get back to work. That late. That late. I feel like working at home is already working late. That's fair. Alright, let's let's get started. Mm -hmm. This little sweet boy's awake. Always staring at the camera when I pull it out. You're natural. I'm watching Fuller House with him and laying in bed. I'm just enjoying him before he falls asleep. Once he falls asleep, I'll get back to my... Oh gosh, you're hurting my wound. 
Um, I'll get back to my Shutterfly book stuff. But for now, we're just hanging out with our milk mouth. <laughs> Say hi. No, that's okay. Well, yeah, I'm watching Fuller House finally. Um, it's all right. It's nothing mind blowing or anything, but you know, I just like the characters, and you know, you miss them, so I'm watching it.